before we get started, a quick shout out and thanks to my patrons, including a new patron called Kuzak. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoy what you're going to find on Patreon. You can check it out with the link showing now. We started off, uh, anyways, I want to thank you guys for being here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got that out of the way. So what we did is we primed uh, the regular Hawkeye in a white primer and then we gave a zenithal highlight to the zombie version because I'm going to be using the same speed paints on both of them but having a different um, base for the paints it'll show you what the paint can actually do on a different type of shading and stuff uh, because frankly uh, I like how the zombies turn out because I always seem to do a special look on them first and then the regular heroes I usually just have white primer. Uh, I do want to change that up a bit eventually and uh, yeah but the only two colors that are not the same right now is the skin tone of course because you know I use bony matter on the flesh for the zombies and then I use some peachy flesh for uh, Hawkeye himself. Uh, now I'm using some Moonlight Coral on his vest on both of them. Again, these miniatures are amazing, but again, the zombie version here, he's got this cool telephone pole, he's got this huge smoke in the bottom, a uh, cloud of smoke, like he just popped out of an explosion kind of thing. Uh, the other one, he's just on the ground. A lot of the heroes are pretty plain and basic. There's some really nice ones, and those will be coming up soon too. But a lot of the zombie versions are just a lot more fun to paint. There's a lot more detail. And um, I, what I might do too as well is slap chop some zombie heroes and some heroes uh, but with different primers and different highlight versions because you don't always have to use black and white or gray and white. You can also use some browns and beiges. You can use um, any kind of uh, dark and light that'll work as well with speed paints. Uh, even like a light gray uh, on top of black, just as a zen. Anyways, those are all be coming eventually. Um, lately, it's been harder to put out videos. Uh, and to be honest, it's sometimes a question of, is it worth continuing to put videos on this channel? Because the amount of work that goes into painting and creating the video and editing uh, is long and the amount of views and likes and comments are very low compared to other channels out there who are doing sometimes even less than this and who are promising, you know, don't even promise you a good looking miniature. They'll talk to you for 20 minutes out of the 30 minutes and in the 10 minutes they're showing you some of the stuff they painted quickly. Uh, I mean, it's nice. I watch those videos and it's fun to get inspiration, but my videos are here to teach you guys how to paint very simply and get them to the table. But if it's just not worth my time, I may not always continue doing this. I may just paint some stuff and have some videos once in a while on different topics and that. So anyways, you guys really enjoy, please share my channel, get it out there, make it worthwhile. I do want to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I doubt very much it's going to happen the way it's going right now, but anyways, because I would need to now about 500 new subscribers a month, uh, and that's not always easy. So anyways, anything you guys can do, like a lot, comment, everything you just keep commenting to get this video out there. And I am showing different techniques, right? It may be the same speed paints over and over again. And you guys are probably sick of it. Hey, I'd love to try. I've been contacting Green Stuff World. I've been contacting um, Vallejo and all that and trying to have different uh, speed paint style like inks and stuff like that just to try it out. I mean, it's hard to get some of the Green Stuff World here in Canada. Not everybody holds it. So I would have liked to try their dipping inks. Anyways, that's just another story of me complaining about not being able to get stuff here in Canada. <laughs> uh, again, if you guys are enjoying, don't forget, hit that like button, comment down below what you guys like about the dual videos. Uh, soon I'm going to catch up on all the single miniatures. I've already painted either the zombie hero or the hero version and get those on here too. Like I said, if it's worth my time. Um, also, some Star Wars Shatterpoint coming up real soon on here, not just on Patreon anymore, because I got a nice little offer coming along with that uh, for you Star Wars Shatterpoint fan, or even Star Wars fans in general. If you like just the collecting miniatures from Star Wars, uh, Shatterpoint has some beautifully designed miniatures, uh, and I'm going to be painting up some new ones that just came out recently and show you guys how to paint those, but also have a nice little surprise for whoever watches those videos, so keep an eye out for those as well. Uh, Hawkeye is coming out pretty uh, pretty nicely here. Now this is kind of funny. I'm using noble skin here, okay? 
And again, there's sometimes there's just some colors in the speed paint range that are so identical. Because I was using this uh, because almost all his outfit has like a gray, brownish, blackish look to it. But I wanted to have some different contrast to it. So having the Gravelord gray on his pants and then the grim black on the top part of his shirt and gloves. I was hoping that the noble skin, which I've used as skin before, was going to have a highlight effect on the belts and all that stuff. But it really didn't. It actually blended into the Gravelord gray. And I found it just did nothing. It would just, they looked the same. It looks like I painted this whole miniature in Gravelord Grey now. I don't find there's much difference in it. Uh, as you can see, I used some uh, Sand Golem. Uh, sorry, no. Um, I don't remember which one it was, but the really pale sand color. <laughs> Anyways, for the hair, it gives them a nice blonde look. I used some Ashen Stone uh, for the smoke and the... Uh, uh, arrow tips or not the tips but like the, the the arrows itself now I'm using the fire drake for the feathers uh, and uh, yeah now I'm doing this cool uh, post here with the hardened leather last time I discovered that hair was really cool with hardened leather now I'm discovering that wood is really nice with hardened leather and having that zenithal highlight where it's bright in the front here uh, and then darker in the recesses and in the background where maybe light might not be hitting as much uh, it's really cool now technically if I really want to do OSL with the Zenithal highlight, I should have put the white from below. Uh, because he's technically coming out of like an explosion with smoke in that. I didn't do the explosive effect on the smoke. But I could have and it would have made a, kind of a big difference. Anyways, on the base for Hawkeye, I'm using light tone. I'm noticing the tones are good to do like earthy areas like sand and dirt and rock. Uh, because it just gives them a nice little highlight to them, not too overwhelming. And uh, it actually does a good job covering as well. And if ever you need to put another color on top of it, it kind of gives it a nighter dark light effect as well without having too much of that going on. Uh, all right, so I'm using some broadsword silver now um, to do all the rest of the, the, the that telephone pole or whatever pole, the electricity pole this is. Uh, so all the like battery parts and the generators and all that and uh, all the metal areas as well as I'm going to be doing this for his bow and for the sword that he has on the regular uh, Hawkeye version. And uh, so anyways, again, speed paints, I'm adoring them. Uh, I still have I've still painted with the old uh, war paint range once in a while those are fun to paint with looking forward to trying to fanatics at some point still trying to figure out what I want to get in that line because there's so much and I'm currently looking at the harder and steam Beck ultra 2024 airbrush I'm really thinking of getting that to uh, hone in my airbrushing techniques a little bit more uh, I've been painting up some Shatterpoint terrain with it. It's so much fun to use the airbrush for big stuff. I'd like to try and see if I could use it for little things. I know I can't do tons of tiny details, but I think it would be fun for me to try it out. Final part here is some Carmine Dragon uh, um, on that bottom like a Hydra symbol. But then I also put a little bit of Nolan Oil on top of it once it dried. I forgot to show that. Uh, just to get into the recesses. So there you have it, folks. Hawkeye zombie version and the Hawkeye hero version all painted up and ready to fight in Marvel Zombies, a zombie side game. Again, I want to thank my patrons. I want to thank you viewers. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you all in the next one.